Hello, my name is Mr. Pyland. Um, I'm the biology teacher here at Crystal Ray uh, San Jose Jesuit High School, and I want to give you a little bit of an idea of what science is like here at Crystal Ray. Our goal is to make sure that all science students who graduate from Crystal Ray Jesuit High School can do science at the college level, whether or not they're science majors or not. And so that is our starting point. So uh, starting out in the freshman year, uh, we uh, start with conceptual physics, uh, which is a little bit different from a lot of schools that start with biology. But because uh, the students come with, uh, with us at many different levels, uh, we want to basically work with them uh, on a way of getting everybody uh, to a point where uh, they understand the elements of science, they know how to uh, apply uh, scientific reasoning to different things, and we, we feel that uh, conceptual physics is the best place to start. So the faculty member who uh, teaches uh, conceptual physics is Mr. Nick Peacock. Uh, he's one of our younger teachers here at school, and the main focus of his course, uh, besides uh, the uh, physics uh, material, and uh, basically we're looking at um, the sort of classic physics, uh, is the concept of cause and effect, measurement and math-based reasoning, uh, evidence-based learning, critical thinking, and the scientific method. Those are the basics uh, that he frames his course around. So one of the elements of uh, Nick's course, uh, conceptual physics, is uh, we do have a maker space here with a 3D printer. And uh, this is one of the tools he uses to, uh, for um, promoting measurement and math-based uh, reasoning and things like that. And uh, for example, uh, the kids, uh, one year they made a model of the church, uh, basically doing measurement outside uh, so that they could then transfer that into code and uh, print out uh, a three-dimensional object. So at the sophomore level, uh, we teach biology. It's a fairly traditional content-based uh, uh, high school biology course. We do have an emphasis on molecular biology and also on evolution. Uh, definitely molecular uh, biology is important because most of the jobs in biology these days depend on the knowledge of, of uh, molecules and chemistry and things like that. It's, this also helps to set up uh, students for success in the 11th grade course, which is chemistry. Um, we also work at, uh, on a lot of study skills at this level. Uh, there is a ton of knowledge to uh, process in a traditional biology course, so we work with vocabulary, how to take effective notes. We also work on test-taking skills. Some of the things we do in biology include you know, typical microscope work, uh, but we also um, we do do a little bit of DNA extraction and run them through these little tiny gel electrophoresis machines in order to develop things like DNA fingerprints and things like that. At the junior level, uh, we teach chemistry. Uh, it's taught by Mr. Jeff Cook, uh, who has quite a few years under his belt teaching chemistry. Uh, it's traditionally content-based, uh, much like other uh, chemistry courses across the country. Uh, definitely has an emphasis on atomic structure, uh, bonding. Uh, there is also um, a focus on chemical reactions and uh, stoichiometry. Uh, he also has a, uh, a fairly unusual nuclear chemistry unit as well. Uh, it also uh, emphasizes math and evidence-based thinking, critical thinking, and there's a, uh, a definite effort to help students prepare for standardized tests that, of course, they take in the 11th grade and in, in their senior year as well to get ready to go to college. So during the uh, senior year, um, all our science courses are electives. Uh, to graduate from Crystal Ray, you only need three years of passing science courses. Most of our students, uh, however, do elect to take one of the three science courses offered in senior year. Uh, the first course is Honors Physics, and this is basically for uh, students who really want to go to a competitive uh, school where they may want to major in science. Uh, then we have Anatomy and Physiology, which um, I teach, and Mr. Cook teaches the physics uh, course. Um, and uh, anatomy and physiology is for those students who are interested in health care careers. 
And then finally, we have a third elective, which would be computer science, uh, which Mr. Peacock teaches. And uh, this is for those who are interested in going into that field. So uh, most of our uh, science courses at the um, senior level are basically career focused.